talking about back to Microsoft. A lot has happened in the Microsoft camp talking about Don Matrix. The guy is the CEO, top notch, big wig at, well, he was anyway, at Microsoft. And many people are saying that, um, you know, he's leaving to, uh, to go work for Zanga, uh, according to the reports. And Zanga is a social gaming, um, a social gaming um, company. And uh, uh, the update is Zenga, they confirm that Don Matrix, the now uh, former president of interactive business at Microsoft, joins the company on July 8th, will join them on July 8th, 2013, as CEO. Matrix also takes a seat on the company's board of directors, where he will work alongside former Mark uh, Pincus as he uh, continues to serve in the role of chairman of the board and chief product officer. Meanwhile, Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer will temporarily take over for Matrix. Now, Don is, uh, um, Don is a unique, according to, um, uh, according to uh, uh, various uh, reports, they're saying that Don is unique in the gaming business. Pinker said uh, in a statement, uh, he said that he can execute in multiple domains, hardware, software, networking, and he's been the person responsible for game franchise, franchises like Need for Speed, FIFA, The Sims, and stuff like that. And he's one of the top executives in overall entertainment. He's a great coach who has inspired people to do their best, work and build strong, productive teams. Now, uh, obviously, um, Pincus is going to say this because... He is now working with Don Matrix at um, Zenga uh, uh, Games. But the question is, why did he leave um, Xbox? Now, uh, Devin, I see you uh, milling around here in the studio. What do you think? I mean, uh, when, when you hear CEOs suddenly leave, a company has a big backlash, and this guy has been a big CEO uh, in, in the company of Microsoft, and, and they have a big backlash with a major announcement because we know Xbox One is a major um, thing for uh, Microsoft. There's no getting around that. That's a major announcement. And so when they had that major announcement and the, the backlash that they not only had, but we talked earlier this morning about them continuing. And now suddenly we're hearing it's sudden to us anyway. You know, maybe this is how CEOs work. Suddenly we're hearing that Matrix is, uh, he's out. He's out of the Xbox camp. And he's going to work as a CEO over at Zynga. I mean, is this something, do you think Microsoft forced him out because, or he left or something like that because of the backlash with Xbox One? Or is this just, you know, that's how CEOs go. They get a better offer, they go. No, that's part of it. You know, CEOs do <laughs> <laughs> um, travel easy. Right. They carry a light bag. You know, they don't carry big suitcases because, you know. Because you could be out. Yeah, they they do carry a big uh, travel expense account. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> they could move easily. But it's possible that um, he had this in the works all along, and that's why he did what he did. Right. That's possible. But it's not definite, and the only way is to get the backstory. And um, So I what you're saying is it's possible that... This could all have been a part of a plan that he had in terms of he knows he's leaving. Absolutely. You know, and so he doesn't care yeah, what announcement yeah, he makes because yeah. what does it matter? I'm leaving. Yeah. But wouldn't that hurt your credibility? I mean, even if he's going to Zynga, which is a game company, yeah. and he's been in the gaming world since, you know, forever, at least uh, for Microsoft since Xbox. So I'm saying, it, doesn't that hurt you though? Because now Zynga, if this is what he's willing to do, then what will Zenga be thinking if he gets a better offer? Then maybe he's going to do the same at Zenga. Yeah, yeah, that's the risk Zenga has to take. And the possibility is that they agreed this deal months ago. Right. And so, you know, <laughs> they agreed that he was going to take parting shots. <laughs> Who knows? I, I'm not saying that's a fact. Right, I'm right, saying right. that's very possible. At that level, you know, right. you know people move and they move with the technology too. Right. They, they have it up there in their brain, and they'll bring stuff over that uh, is going to slip under the radar of, um, of the protection that they sign. You right, know? right, right. But anything is possible, man. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world, even right. dog-eat-gorilla world. Dog-eat-gorilla I mean, world. You know, and, gorilla and in the sense of uh, Microsoft. In the sense of Microsoft. And the thing is, now Microsoft is scrambling mm -hmm. to get someone to head their Xbox division because the launch 
It's kind of, the thing that makes it so funny is you have a major system for the company coming out in less than four months, and then a CEO who has been a part of the development suddenly, you know, is gone. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's bad blood. And yeah. And this guy says, okay, okay, we'll see. And right. I'm gonna, you know. Do so what it, I do. Yeah. yeah, and it could be something like Microsoft saying, well, he feels that Microsoft needs him. Microsoft is saying, you know, we, we right. can do this without you. So there's all kind of dynamics. My, my thing is, how is this going to affect, affect Xbox One as far as the launch? Because overseeing a launch of a console or any kind of commodity is a big thing, you know, because it's worldwide. They're going to have a U.S. and um, Europe launch all at the same time, mm -hmm. you know, and you're talking hundreds of thousands of systems, you know, thousands of stores, you know, I mean, th this whole thing can definitely... Uh, if, if Microsoft doesn't handle this properly, right. if they don't handle this properly, it could be a serious blow. It could them. be a serious blow, exactly, for Xbox. So it's going to be interesting to see how they bounce back from, you know, or, or if they improve. You know, maybe Xbox One will improve, because sometimes maybe certain people are in the way. Yeah. You know, like, if they were needed to go forward, and he just you know, wasn't willing to go forward with all of the stuff. And after they got that backlash, Microsoft just said, you know what, this is time to cut, part, you know, to um, part ways. So we just have to see how it plays out. But it, it would be, it would be uh, very unfortunate if this really sank, you know, the Xbox One. Because like we said before, um, uh, competition is great. And without competition, you know, uh, products just get stagnant. Now, speaking of competition, if you're in the market for a top-notch, because I know, you know, you might have the Samsung Galaxy S4, you might have um, um, the, um, the um, HCC uh, One, but if you want to make a statement, right, you want to walk around and say, look, man, I am where it's at, then you might want HCC's latest offering, and that is the HTC One, but in glamour red. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. In glamour red. So if you're someone, you're like, man, you know, I, I like the HTC One, but that white, that, 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 that white um, is just not, uh, you know, that's not cutting it. You want something, and you're a hot phone that's like, whoo, where did you get this thing? HTC announced the launch of the new HTC One in a new color option. They're calling it Glamour Red. It's the same phone, you know, nothing new, but in a fancy new color. And in the UK, it'll be available from mid-July exclusively at Phones For You. Currently, no word on whether any US carriers will pick up this red version. But we're going to show you a picture of this sleek red version phone, the red uh, variant. Uh, which leaked out briefly a few months back, will join the existing silver and somewhat more elusive black version of the HTC uh, One's, you know, HTC's flagship phone and stuff like that. Um, and um, um, it's going to join that line. But if you're someone who wants something bold, you know, this Glamour Red Edition is definitely something you might want to get. Now, like I said, it's the same phone, so don't expect an update as far as phones go or as far as it has different things. It's still going to have the HTC Sense, that uh, UI, the HTC's UI, and you can also um, still upgrade to Android UI if you want, but it's just this Glamour Red um, showcase. Uh, they're saying this showcases the power, according to HTC, they said the new HTC One in Glamour Red showcases the power of our flagship model in a color that demands attention whilst maintaining the high standards set for sophisticated design and quality. That's coming from the president of EMEA HTC. Uh, um, his name is Philip Blair. Now, sitting on the top of HTC's portfolio, the HTC One combines the latest in mobile innovation and design to offer the company's most powerful experience to date. They're saying Blink Feed aggregates multiple feeds from your selected news sources, social networks, and other in-phone features like calendars or HTC Sense TV to create customizable real-time streams of relevant information direct to, uh, to the home screen and this 
new red edition because uh, that's what HTC One does. But this new red edition, they're saying, does it in style. So uh, let me just go ahead because you're saying, man, you're talking about this red edition. I need to see it. I want to see what this thing looks like. All right. We're going to show you. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to show you exactly what this thing looks like. Because, I mean, if you're someone who likes style, you're someone who likes fashion, you're someone who's like, yo, man, I like to see things, you know, saying in ultra, ultra sweet color. Check this out. Woo! Look at that. HTC One right there. Let, 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 me, let me blow this bad boy up because you're probably saying, man, I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let, let, let's get a little, let's, let's get a little closer. Oh yeah, there we go. Boom! Right there, HTC One Red. First, all you had was the silver, and then you had the black model. And then, you know, those are typical phone colors. But the HTC One Red, you're not going to get this just anywhere. You're not going to get that anywhere. That, I mean, as soon as you pull this out of your pocket, or you, now this is a phone that, you know, with this red casing, you really don't want to get a cover for it. You really don't want to get a protector because you want people to see that red. You know what I'm saying? You want people to see that. So you really don't want to get a cover for it if you can avoid it. But, you know, you don't want that thing to get scratched easy, either. Um, either. So uh, if you want a phone that makes a statement, now they're saying that uh, they don't know when this thing is going to come over here to the U.S. and stuff like that, but it's available in the U.K. right now. And I know a lot of you out there travel between the U.S. and the U.K. or you have family in the U.K. Or, and stuff like that. Grab this bad boy because if you can get this here, you'll be the only one. You know, because you can't find it here in the U.S. Grab this thing in the U.K. You're making a statement, but you heard about it right here on Tech Pulse. Now, we're coming up on a break, but after the break, we're talking iOS. Apple's iOS 7 allows you to control your iOS device, not just with touch, but with head gestures. Ooh, Apple is really stepping up the game. So all of this and more is going to be coming your way right here on Tech Pulse. Just right after these words. Right after these messages. 